The annular solar eclipse was visible over parts of Central Texas today. It was a sight to see. You, most of you guys saw the ring of fire around noon as the moon passed between the Earth and the sun. Lots of you sent us photos of the reflection of the eclipse. It was another way to experience the event if you couldn't get your hands on solar eclipse glasses. I waited to the last minute, couldn't find any. But take a look at those. You can see the shadow that was created by the eclipse. It was really cool to see that. The next annular eclipse won't be seen in this part of the country again until 2040. The city of Dripping Springs held a pretty cool event for people to watch the solar eclipse together. KV's Malia Masamoto was there. No, I'm so excited about this. Saturday, the moon passed between the Earth and the sun, creating a partial solar eclipse in parts of central Texas. And those who saw it said it looked like... A sideways moon. It does look like a moon, but it's lying on its side. It looks like a cheese ball. It looks like, like a cheese ball? Like somebody yeah. took a bite out of it? Yeah. So it's Indiana Jones, perfect. you know, and the crescent moon. And uh, maybe that's where they were looking. That's why they never found this, the treasures, because they were looking for it, and here it is. Dripping Springs started passing out these glasses at Veterans Memorial Park in the morning. I just love Dripping Springs. I love Dripping Springs. And to their surprise, crowds of people started showing up. I wasn't even supposed to open till 10, and there were lines of cars at 9 o'clock. But people were excited to come out because it is such a rare event. So beautiful. Part of the Great Pumpkin, I think. For the solar eclipse, they only happen in one place every 300 years. So dripping, the last time one came to dripping was in like the 1800s. It looks like a smiley face. People like Karina Donley, who brought her kids to see it. They've learned a little bit about it at school, and they made some projects this week at school to show what happens to the sun and the moon and how they rotate all around. The city also installed a giant pair of solar glasses to educate the public and get them excited about the full eclipse coming in 2024. We wanted to do something fun, and we wanted to make it iconic for Dripping Springs. Now, this exhibit will be here until April for the total solar eclipse, but they're not exactly functional glasses. You'll still need your pair of eclipse glasses if you want to look up. And they plan to have a block party in April so people can enjoy looking up to the sky for that full solar eclipse. I'm seeing almost the ring of fire. It's not quite, but it's so cool. It's beautiful though. It's it perfectly is. centered. Yeah. In Dripping Springs, Malia Masamoto, KVU News.